hello uh, it's a small video for uh, describe about the um, add file function in uh, NCL in car common language um, I use in car common language in Windows and you uh, so I should install the Sigvin and um, you can watch the previous video uh, to know about the how can I uh, install the uh, NCL in Windows by using Sigwin. Now I should uh, open the terminal. Should I? Uh, I should click on this, and I want. I should set up the terminal behind the editor and now uh, I should select NCL to open the NCAR common language and and this is uh, this is add file function uh, in add file function uh, add file function you should uh, use two parameters and the first parameter is file pass uh, and uh, file pass is a uh, pass of file in a string format between two uh, quotation and uh, the status is the type of reading the file type of opening the file readable for read for writing or etc first of all i should use a for a nested files i want to use a nested file so but you, you you can use another for another format of files i uh, want use the this file this is in home and my user so i should write the function here the function is add file and uh, write the pass a file in nc format between the two uh, double quotation and uh, the format of uh, the mm, type of uh, opening the file mm, i want use this file for just reading but if you uh, want to uh, open this file for writing so you can use another format another um, character w this is just for nest cdf but if you uh, you want open the grip file you can uh, just use read and hdf and blah 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 um, so i press on enter and now uh, the file is uh, on this variable the variable the file uh, the file variable this is the file variable um, and now I want uh, view the content of file a summary of content of file you can mm, type this uh, function print with name of the variable then you can view the content of file in uh, several pages you can uh, press on space to view the or enter to view the another page in this page the first lines is about the global attributes and uh, this is dimension this is dimension of file it has three dimension the variables the first variable is level the second is uh, yc the type of this variable is double and uh, i should press on space and view the lat long and time and this content and uh, this variable and the main variable in this netcd file is tas uh, it is um, temperature so if i want to extract the temperature I should write this uh, you can 
change the name of this it is a favorite name any name that you want and the name of file variable the file variable is fn um, which variable in the file variable I want the task variable this function um, uh, devote the task variable into the fn variable to favorite name any name that you want because the um, due to uh, this variable is so big uh, so uh, the time is long for the view the content of this file this variable you should wait it's complete now I want view the content of task 1 print file summary task 1 you can view the content of uh, the favorite uh, name variable this variable has a uh, three dimension x c y uh, c and time dimension the time dimension has uh, this element this value of element 8716 and this is 114 and uh, 100 one 115 and uh, 140 um, you can't mm, use uh, the another function for extract data from this netcdf variable but uh, but I will show it in next video uh, for how to how you can read the data from an HCDF variable by using mm, NCAR common language. Please subscribe to uh, inform about the new videos for NCAR common language. Uh, have a good day.